back to Greater Ohio's video blog. In our last blog, we touched upon a Restoring Prosperity Summit and the idea of targeted investments in, in, in transportation, and we also talked about the ODOT business plan. So we wanted to kind of go further in one of those aspects and look at cost benefit analysis and the task force um, that ODOT has put together, that the report is coming out again in December 3rd, so you should contact your chair boards and give them your comments before that does come out. So Gene, what, what do you have to say about cost benefit analysis in Ohio? I'm on the, uh, the governor was gracious to appoint me to the ODOT Transportation Task Force. And one of the um, subcommittees is the one I serve on is economic development. Okay, and what are the different subcommittees? We there? have maximizing public investment, okay. one on mass transit, okay. and one on economic development. Okay. And um, our chair is Bill Loda with the Central Ohio Transit Authority and so uh, commonly known as CODA. And one of the things that um, Bill Loda talks a lot about, and I am in full agreement with, is that we need to come up with a better cost-benefit analysis of our transportation product projects. That when ODOT is thinking about where are they going to put in a lane, an extra lane, or they want to put in a connector or a bypass, What's the cost benefit of us? This goes back to one of the core things that was brought up by the Restoring Prosperity Summit, is that we need to take a targeted look at how and where the state puts its money. Yeah. So in that context, when you're looking at any sort of a, of a, of a transportation project, who benefits? You know, It should be the taxpayers of the state of Ohio and those localities that are affected. But in many cases, what we're finding out, we are not sure if that's the case. And currently, there's no cost-benefit analysis done. Wow. So, yeah, I know, everybody <laughs> kind of goes, what? You don't know? No, nobody has any idea. Huh. So, I mean, you talk about simple things, and where I have to give, you know, the as the task force uh, has been moving on, We've been bringing in folks from Brookings, yeah. uh, Scott Bernstein, who is, we've been working very closely with Scott on the uh, Restoring Prosperity effort. Yes. And in, in doing that, one of the things that's done is that that's informed the task force, the task force has informed the summit. So you've gotten a nice convergence coming out of here. But the thing that we need to do is we need to have everybody out there watching this going, wow, a cost-benefit analysis. How do we apply that to transportation and by extension, other projects around Ohio? Yeah. Where do we put our transportation dollars? And we need to start thinking about them in a targeted manner. Because as we discussed in our previous uh, blog, ODOT's own business plan forecasts a $3.5 billion deficit by 2015. That's under the middle of the road assumptions. If you use the worst case, their worst case assumptions, it's over $6 billion structural deficit by the year 2015. Wow. So, so we really need that cost benefit analysis. We need a cost benefit analysis. Well, there you have it. How do we target our transportation efforts? And we invite you to leave comments on our blog, too, that we can address your questions or any issues that you want to bring up um, on our next video if you, leave, if you leave your comments. So please do so. Thank you.